Hello everybody, my name is Lawrence and welcome to my channel. This is my Bamboo Lab P1S 3 month review. If you're looking to get into 3D printing, Bamboo Lab has the perfect product for you. This video is in no way sponsored by Bamboo Lab and it is a honest to god hands on review of this particular machine. 3D printing has never been more accessible and easy to learn than it is right now. I know 3D printing can seem like a very complicated hobby on the surface, but that's where the Bamboo Lab P1S shines. One of the best things about this machine is how easy it is to set up and start printing right out the box. The user interface is straightforward and intuitive, and thanks to pre-designed STL files on websites like MakerWorld and Thingiverse, you can start printing really cool things like this one foot tall Mewtwo, or you can be weird like me and start making real brain rock. The possibilities are absolutely limitless. You can make anything. Anyway, let's get back to the P1S specifically. What really sets this printer apart is its reliability. Over the past three months, I've had minimal issues with it. It just works. The print quality is fantastic, the print bed heats up quickly, and the extruder system is designed to minimize jams and clogs. If you ever had a 3D printer that made you just want to pull your hair out because of the consistent issues, you'll probably appreciate how trouble-free the P1S really is. And that's honestly one of the best things about this machine. You don't really need to learn how to design anything to get into 3D printing anymore. In the past three months, I made everything from this life-size Rick and Morty portal gun to this foot-tall Mewtwo. I printed out a bunch of these little Labubus in different colors for all my friends. Uh, apparently they're the new Beanie Babies and they're really hard to get. I printed out a little repo bot. All of these files were downloadable from Maker World and they were all free. All I did was hit download, hit print plate, and the machine did the rest. It's really that easy now. If you can think of it, it's most likely already done and uploaded onto Maker World. And if it is there and you find it, all you gotta do is download it and hit print plate, and you're all set. No more worrying about complicated setups, no more worrying about head scratching calibrations. Everything you can possibly think of is probably already on Maker World waiting for you to download and print. Yeah, you hear that? That squeaking sound? That's a sound that you don't want to hear. But don't worry, your machine is not broken. It's just the belt rubbing against the pulley. All you gotta do is readjust it and put some oil on it and it's ready to go again. Okay, so the first thing you want to do if you hear your machine squeaking like that is to lower the plate to the bottom and then turn off your machine. Once you've done that, the extruder here should be loose enough for you to kind of wobble around and move. Now, you just kind of find where it was squeaking. Once you find where it's squeaking, you figure out whether or not the belt is rubbing up against the top of the pulley or the bottom, and then move it up or down, according to which your situation is in. Once you've done that, and you fixed the sound or you fix the belt and put it back in the middle, you find some lubricant to put on those belts. Once you've got your oil, you want to dip just a little bit of it onto your belt, whichever part was it, it was squeaking on. Say it was here. Dip a little bit on there, not too much. A single drop will do. You've done that. Move your nozzle around a bit. Lubricate the pulleys. And hopefully the sound should be gone. And if it doesn't, keep messing around with the extruder and find out exactly where it's squeaking. Ugh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. So is the P1S actually worth it after three months? My answer is absolutely yes. For a price range between $699 and $949, depending on what combo you choose, the P1S is the best turnkey out of the box printer that you could possibly find on the market right now. But the only thing that I really don't like about the machine is the LCD screen. It seems a little outdated to me, but 
The overall color scheme and the design of the machine is absolutely sleek. I love it. It looks cool sitting in the middle of my living room. It is awesome. The AMS is quite possibly my favorite feature of this machine. It handles up to four spools for multicolor or multi-material prints. You can stack up to four different units for 16 different colors. That is an absolute game changer. Bamboo Lab Filament comes with RFID tags inside their spools. So the AMS system can automatically interpret what spool is holding what color and when to change. I can confidently say that the P1S is an absolute game changer for 3D print enthusiasts, especially for beginners. Its speed, reliability, and ease of use have become a staple in my workflow. So if you're looking for a printer that delivers consistent results with minimal fuss, the P1S is tough to beat. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.